Okay, so we have this awesome Tesla here, and it went five miles in three minutes. So the question is, how fast is this Tesla going? So uh, we're going to put your math skills, you know, at work here and just kind of see, you know, those of you out there can figure this out, right? So it's going to require um, some knowledge of uh, some basic algebra, and uh, you need to know, obviously, a formula that relates um, time, distance, and speed. And we're going to go through all of this in just one second. But first, we're going to quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can find a link to my math help program in the description of this video, but I offer full math courses. But if you're taking a uh, math course, I can help you as, uh, out as well. So um, in all my courses, I offer comprehensive lessons and I show you how to uh, solve the most common problems you're gonna face in middle uh, school math, high school math, and even basic college math, literally solve thousands of problems. That's why it's taken me many, many years to build this program out. And I'm very proud of it because it's helped uh, just thousands and thousands of students excel in mathematics. Now, if you are a math student, I must stress the importance of note-taking. Over decades of teaching math, uh, my golden rule of math is those students who take the best math notes, have great math notes, almost always have great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who don't take math notes, they don't think it's important because they got their best friend who's an excellent note-taker. They could be like, listen, I'm gonna take your notes the night before the test, and then you won't have notes to study, but I'll have your notes, and then therefore, you know, I'll be all set uh, in this class. Or maybe they have like this crazy photographic memory. They just told themselves, I have this powerful mind that whatever I see, I remember, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, you don't want to be that person, okay? Uh, if you don't take uh, notes, okay? you're going to end up paying a price. Just believe me on this one. So uh, you definitely want to start improving on note-taking. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I actually offer very detailed, comprehensive math notes. Those would include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find a, uh, the links to those notes in the description of this video as well. All right, so let's get into this problem about this Tesla. This is such a cool car. I'll tell you, if you ever get a chance to uh, take a ride in a Tesla, maybe you own a Tesla, maybe you're parents have a Tesla, whatever the case is, it's just such a cool experience. It's so quiet and they, 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 the acceleration is just like, wow, I don't have a Tesla. I actually have this big monster uh, Ford Expedition uh, and I like that kind of big old gas guzzler. Yeah, I'm kind of a taller uh, person, but you know, this, you know, this car really does kind of get me. I'm like, hmm, maybe one day I will, uh, you know, uh, go for it and break down and join the Tesla club. But anyways, that's a, another topic. Let's figure out how fast this Tesla's going. So uh, here's the problem again, right? So in five, it, it covered or traveled five, five miles in three minutes. How fast is this going? And we want to answer uh, this, right? We're talking about speed. How fast is it going? Let's answer the question in miles per hour, okay? So that's the uh, kind of the specific question. How many miles per hour uh, is this Tesla going if it uh, traveled five miles in three minutes? Now, if you think you can answer this question, okay, I would suggest you pause the video and, you know, sketch out this uh, the solution here real quick. But whatever you do, if you kind of want to play along with this problem, uh, just make sure that you are certain uh, in your, you know, your approach. Okay. In other words, you're not just plugging in a bunch of numbers in the calculator and think like, oh, I think it's going this fast. Like you either, you know how to approach this problem in certainty, or you're just kind of guessing. Okay. So let's get to the solution here. So we're going to need a formula. Okay. Because we you know we got a couple different things going on here. We have miles, right? Like this, this Tesla is going so many miles, that's distance. And then we have some time, which is three minutes, okay? And then we are looking for the rate, which is uh, speed, okay? So when you hear uh, how fast is something going, uh, kind of words that mean that is uh, what's the rate, all right? Or the speed or velocity. These are all kinds of words. There's technical differences here. 
here too, like velocity. You can think of things as vectors, but I don't want to digress. But anyways, if I said the rate, speed, velocity, they're all kind of meaning, you know, that's how fast something's going, right? Now, you need to know a formula, and here it is. All right, this is one you want to commit to your long-term memory because uh, rate and distance problems are so common in mathematics. So the uh, formula goes like this, rate times time equals distance, okay? So rate times time equals distance. You can write this this way, rate times time is equal to distance. And let's just uh, review here uh, real quick. Um, the formula specifically though, as it relates to units of measure, all right? Units of measure. Okay, this is a very, very important. So we have to have the proper units of measure if we're gonna make this formula work. So if I want my answer by speed in miles per hour, let's take a look at my time and distance. So my distance is in miles, okay? All right, so if you look here, my rate, I'm, I want my speed in miles per, all right, so miles is gonna be my distance, all right? So in other words, I'm gonna measure distance in miles, not feet, for example, or inches, okay? And my time here has to be in hours, miles per hour, miles per hour. Also, uh, you could think of it this way, miles per hour. So this is technically a rate when we're talking about rate ratios and proportions. And if you haven't uh, learned about rates and ratios and proportions, I have plenty of videos on that in my uh, algebra, pre-algebra playlist, okay? So anyways, so let's just kind of, I don't want to digress too much, but we really need to understand this. When we're working with any formula, you got to make sure you have the correct units of measure. So I want my answer, my speed to be in miles per hour. So uh, I'm looking at my distance here. My distance is in miles, but my time, okay, the time that I'm given is in minutes, all right, I need that to be an hour. So I'm gonna to have to do some work here. But again, what am I trying to solve for? I wanna know how fast this thing is going. I'm, I'm looking to solve for the rate, okay? So I have this basic uh, formula, rate times time equals distance. Well, to solve for R, which is the rate, I have to divide both sides of the equation by T. So rate times time equals distance. I wanna solve for the, uh, the rate here. So I have to divide both sides of the equation by t. So rate, uh, the rate is gonna be equal to the distance divided by the time. And my distance needs to be in miles, okay? And my time needs to be in hours. And if I have that, my rate will be in miles per hour, okay? So hopefully, all this is kind of you know, set up uh, the structure, you know, everything that you need to know to solve this problem. So if you think now you're like, oh, okay, I can solve it, then anytime, you know, uh, that you think you can, you know, take the problem from here, I would suggest pause the video and go ahead and knock it out real quick, you know, just to kind of test uh, where you're at with your current math skills. But let's continue on. But before we do so, we just got to take another look at this Tesla. It's just so cool. Anyways, there it is. So let's go ahead and distill this Tesla, this nice looking Tesla, uh, into a nice little uh, stick figure type of situation. Uh, a little basic little car here. So draw a little sketch out. You know, it's always a good idea to draw little figures out in math. So here we went five miles. Here's our Tesla. It traveled five miles. That is, of course, our distance. And it did it in three minutes, okay? So that is my time, okay? So again, I know that rate times time equals distance, and I want my rate to be in miles per hour, but let's see what we have here. So my distance is five miles. I wanted that in miles, right? Because I want my answer in miles per hour. And my time is three minutes, okay? Well, I have minutes, I don't have hours. So we're gonna have to um, think about how can I, uh, what three minutes is how many hours, okay? So we need to get, express our time uh, uh, in terms of hours currently we're given in, uh, in minutes. So I gotta take care of this. Once I have my time expressed in hours, I already have miles then I can go ahead and uh, solve this problem. So our first order of business is to determine how many uh, hours three minutes is, okay? 
So let's see here. So three minutes is how many hours, okay? Well, obviously it's not even gonna be one complete full hour, but how can we figure this out? Well, this is a perfect uh, proportion uh, problem, okay? So let's kind of review it. You need to have some sort of established relationship, right? So 60 minutes, we know is one hour. So let's write this as, as, as a fraction. So a proportion is two equal fractions, okay? So you need to have kind of like your basic unit uh, conversion that you already know. So pick something that you know, okay? Like, oh yes, I know 60 minutes is one hour. So write that as a fraction, right? Just like this, right? If you remember how to do this problem, they can do all kinds of future problems, you know, that you encounter that are like this. So 60 minutes, is to one hour or 60 minutes per uh, one hour, just like this, is equal to, now I want to know how many hours three minutes is. So here, notice that I have my minutes in my numerator, okay? So I'm going to put my minutes in my numerator over here. So I'm trying to determine uh, how many hours three minutes is. So you want to set up this proportion just like this, okay? So I know this is true, all right? I'm trying to see what this is equal to, all right? So three minutes is how many hours? Well, I don't know, okay? So let's put a little variable x in, in here. And uh, once we solve for x, this will tell us how many hours three minutes is. So here we have 60, if you look here, we have 60 over one, I'm just um, dropping the units of measure here for a second, is equal to three over x. So, um, done a, a couple, well, I've done multiple videos on proportions and how to solve them. Definitely want to check uh, those videos out if you're not quite sure what, why I'm doing what I'm going to be doing. But when you have a proportion, what holds true is the cross product. So in other words, if I go 60 times x, that's 60x. That's going to be equal to 1 times 3, which of course is 3. Okay, so to solve a proportion, what you have to do is use the cross product, right? The means are equal to the extremes is another way to think about that. So you have 60x is equal to 3. So to solve for x, all right, so let's just do this real quick. Again, you got to know some basic algebra here. Solve for x, I got to divide both sides of the equation by 60. So x is equal to 3 over 60. And then, of course, I can reduce that fraction down to 1 over 20. So x is equal to 1 over 20. But 1 over 20 what? Well, x, remember, was associated with hours. So that's hours. Okay, so 3 minutes is equal to 1 over 20 hours, or 1 20th of an hour. Okay, so now I have my time. Okay, this is time. Instead of uh, it being in minutes, I can express it as hour uh, in terms of hours, and that's what I need. Okay, so now let's go back to our lovely formula. Okay, so here we go. All right, so again, my rate is what I'm looking for. It's my speed. I want it in miles per hour. Uh, my distance, I already know uh, it's five miles, okay, and I need it in miles, and I got it in miles, so that's good. And my time, again, I was given three minutes, but, uh, you know, because of our knowledge of proportions and everything else like that, we're like, okay, three minutes, mm, we need to use this guy, one over 20th hour. So now I do have my time in hours. I have my distance in miles. Uh, and uh, basically, that's pretty much it. Okay, now I, I'm ready to kind of solve this. So I have rate times time equals distance. Remember, that's the formula here. R times T is equal to D, but I need to solve for R. Okay, I'm looking for my miles per hour. So again, as we talked about, I got to divide both sides of the equation by t. So uh, the rate, the speed, is going to be equal to the distance divided by time. Okay, so now let's just plug in our information. So our distance is five miles. Okay, my time is not three minutes; it's one over twenty hours, or one twentieth of an hour. Okay, so now I have miles per, this little uh, division sign, is per hour. So that's awesome. So now i got to figure out what 5 divided by, all right, this is 5 divided by 1 over 20, which is the same thing as 5 divided by 1 over 20, which is the same thing as 5 times, remember you flip this, turn this into multiplication, 20 over 1, which is the same thing as 5 times 20 uh, is 100. 
Okay, so that's 100 miles per hour. That's how fast our Tesla is going. Okay, this Tesla would be traveling, uh, if it's traveling 100 miles per hour, it will cover five miles in three minutes. Okay, which of course is 1 20th of an hour. All right, so how many of you out there got that problem right? If you got it right, definitely give yourself an A+, plus, a smiley face, and at least three stars, okay? Uh, let's call it four stars. This problem is just so cool because we're dealing with uh, a Tesla. But if you didn't get this right, or if you got it right and you weren't quite sure, you're kind of guessing, you know, and you're like, hmm, well, you know, then, you know, listen, the whole idea behind this video is to, you know, reinforce basic concepts that you're going to need in, uh, you know, in mathematics, all right? So anything at like pre-algebra, algebra, and beyond, you should definitely know how to solve um, uh, rate and distance problems because they're they're so interesting, okay? And one, you need to know the basic formula, rate times time equals distance. That I would commit to your long-term memory. But just as importantly, you need to uh, be able to work with units of measure, okay? And you gotta be able to convert one unit to another unit. This is very, very common math skill and science skills as well, okay? And then, of course, be able to answer these questions with confidence. All right, so if you enjoyed this video in some way, okay, uh, found it educational, please consider smashing that like button. That would definitely help me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. Obviously, I'm obsessed with teaching mathematics, and I have a ton of uh, videos, uh, uh, basic math to advanced math, organized on various playlists on my channel. But if you want my best math help, check out the links in the description of this video. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.